you very much, Yasmi. Good morning and good evening to all the participants and thank you very much for joining in this, uh, in this webinar. I'm Renu Razdan, Chief Operating Officer of Max Neiman International, a clinical research organization based in India and USA. As many of you may know, um, Indian regulations for conduct of clinical trials over the last couple of years have undergone some changes. Some new laws have been introduced and the existing ones have been modified. So what I intend to do in the next one hour is to introduce and brief you about some of these changes and I hope uh, at the end of the session um, I would have um, addressed some of the highlights and some of the concerns regarding the industry as of now and also answered some of your questions. So I start my discussion um, on clinical trial approval process in India now. Now as we all know, um, of course I'll brief you a little bit about the Central Drug, Central Drug Standard Control Organization in India, the Drugs and Cosmetics Act which governs the conduct of clinical trials in the country, what is the process like, the clinical trial approval process, what are the amendments that have been made to the regulations in the last two years medical device regulations and a little bit overview about our company. Now clinical trial uh, approvals in India are governed uh, by the Drugs and Cosmetics Act of India, Schedule Y to be more specific and the conduct of clinical trials in India is approved by the Drugs Controller General of India, the position which is equivalent to the US FDA Commissioner. The uh, organization or the body which controls the conduct of these trials is named as Central Drug Standard Control Organization and this is a body which actually functions under the direct supervision of Ministry of Health with Drugs Control General of India heading the organization. Lots of activities are related to drugs and pharmaceuticals, the approval, the import, the import of drugs, the, uh, the process which makes sure that right quality is adhered to in India comes under the preview of Central Drugs Control Organization of India. Now a brief look at the structure of this organization. The uh, Drugs Control General of India heads it. Uh, in addition to his office, there, is, there are another group of uh, government testing laboratory, laboratories which are actually uh, meant for trust testing of pharmaceutical products active pharmaceutical ingredients and medical devices. So this unit also comes under CDSCO. And under the Drugs Controller General of India's office, we also have certain port offices located at various locations in the country. Now the responsibility of the job of these port offices is inspection of drugs and pharmaceuticals and uh, devices on arrival, their import and clearance, and of course it's required at any point in time re-export of these products from the country. So the exact responsibilities of CDSO would be import of drugs into the country for usage by the patients in India, approval of new drugs and clinical trials. Some drugs are of course even now uh, marketed without a clinical trial, a few of them of course, but largely it would be the uh, approval of drugs and clinical trials. Then the uh, meetings of Drug Consultative Committee and Drug Technical Advisory Board. Uh, th these are also held under the preview of CDSO. Now these are two committees which actually set the strategy of, these are high level committees that actually set up the strategy for new drugs, for health concerns, for making sure all the products available in the country of the right quality. And of course um, maintain the quality of the drugs in the country, available in the country through central drug testing laboratory. These are located in various locations in the country. And approval of licenses for manufacture and of blood and blood products. So these are in short the main responsibilities of the CDSO in the country. As you can see approval of new drugs and clinical trials is just one of the responsibilities of this department. There are many others that fall under this preview uh, of the department. Coming to the organization, the responsibility of Drugs Control General of India, as I said, uh, this position actually is quite similar to the US FDA Commissioner's position. 
and the various departments in the offices reporting to Drugs Control Agenda of India are the zonal offices of this, uh, this office in various parts of the country, various laboratories, the testing laboratories, and certain group of officers that report to the Drugs Control Agenda of India. These are the deputy drug controllers, assistant drug controllers, drug inspectors, and technical associates. Now, various responsibility, direct responsibilities of Drugs Control Agenda of India is the marketing approval of new drugs, biologics, and devices into the country. Some of which are come under the preview of clinical trials, and some can be um, approved for marketing purposes without any clinical trials. Then approval of clinical trials, um, and also laying down various standards for drugs in, in the country. Also set up systems to ensure that quality of imported drugs is of the right quality, and coordination of various state drug control organizations, which also includes various inspections to the to the warehouses, to the clinical sites, and many other activities of this sort. And lastly, but not the least, the function of drug, drug testing laboratories in the country. So these are in brief a few uh, functions of the Drugs Control Agenda of India uh, office.